Hi, welcome to CapeCast. I'm Connie Barron, Public Information Director for the City of Cape Coral. Here is your three-minute news update for the week of September 19, 2011. At the upcoming City Council meeting on Monday, City Council will discuss and vote on proposals to outsource the operations of the Coral Oaks Golf Course. There was quite a bit of discussion this past Monday at the Council workshop. A private management company has suggested they could save the city $600,000 a year if they run the course. Another private company suggested a lease arrangement that would save $400,000 a year. Our local golfing community seems inclined to keep the operations in-house. There was divergent opinion on council, so we'll see where the vote goes on Monday. The final public hearing for the fiscal year 2012 budget is September the 22nd. It will be held at council chambers at 5.05 p.m. The public is encouraged to attend, and if you do get up and speak, please be respectful. The city will be holding an open house for bike lanes on Beach Parkway and Agua Linda Boulevard. The open house will be October the 5th at 5.30 p.m. It will be held at Oasis Middle School. So if you live in the area and you're interested in a project, please stop by. The city will be hosting its first bike night of the season on Saturday, October the 1st. The event is at Southeast 47th Terrace. We have thousands of motorcyclists that come to this event. The hours are from 5 to 10 p.m. We have vendors, we have food, we have entertainment. It's a lot of fun, so please come on down. You don't need a motorcycle to attend. Sunsplash Family Water Park will be closing for the season. But before they do, before they drain those pools, they will be hosting Yappy Hour. It's the final event of the season, and it was very well received last year when it was held for the first time. It will be on Saturday and Sunday, two days this year, October 1st and 2nd from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. You can bring your little pooch down. They can float on the lazy river and splash in the pools. Entry fee is $10 and it is free parking. So come on down and help us close out Sunsplash. Finally, Money Magazine has named Cape Coral as one of the top places to retire. Money Magazine says that Cape Coral is one of the best places for retirees who are looking for lower taxes, cheap housing, and a gentle climate. Folks, we have it all right here in Cape Coral. If you want to read the entire article, go to money.cnn.com and click on the Best Places to Retire link. That wraps up our update for this week. I'll see you next time on CapeCast. I'm Connie Barron. Have a good one.